Good afternoon there RV travel buddies. Today is a nice day for a change. We probably have sunshine for about two hours. We thought we'd come out, <laughs> let the dogs have some fun, and the cat too is out here. And we're having a glass of champagne. This is our breakfast. <laughs> oh, we had breakfast already. So today, uh, actually I wanted to talk about uh, something that happened to us yesterday doing a recording on RV Talk Radio. <coughs> and uh, I lost my wife. Um, so, this is real life people. You can't make this stuff up. So my dog decided to chew up to uh, find a piece of wood and where she finds this stuff, I don't know. But getting back to the subject, um, we did a mass interview with RV Talk Radio. And one of the things we talked about was uh, uh, communication, checklists, um, frustrations, things that we had with our RVs. And one of them was procedures or a checklist on things. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, so last night when we did our recording, uh, we use a, a, a little device called a Roland. And when we have a conference call, we put the Roland next to the cell phone and then we do the interview and uh, kind of did things a little different because we had a, um, the th freedom theory people with us too and uh, so normally I put a headset on and check the sound and make sure everything's good before we start the interview but I skipped that procedure and big for mistake. those yeah big mistake it turns out that I could have detected the crackle sound and it turned out that the particular way which I've never done before that I l put the phone and the Roland together um, caused a static interference that if I would have had my headset on I would have detected and so um, now I'm apologetic for it was a great interview and it turned out and people can hear it but uh, there's definitely an auto, uh, auto quality problem it could have been prevented by going through my normal procedure of checking the sound with a headset before we did the recording. <clears throat> Which the whole interview was kind of about that same thing. So the other point is, is like Sherry and I, um, we talk about this all the time, that like when we're doing our uh, tanks or whether we're hooking up the RV or unhooking the RV, we constantly remind each other, no matter how irritating it can be sometimes to be reminded of something you already know, is is to do our checks. Mm -hmm. And and like before we roll, we check the antennas and check the windows and check the doors and locks, check the hitch, check the, the lights. We do all that stuff and we do it sometimes twice in a row and it's very irritating sometimes, but the more you do it and realize things like, like RV Talk Radio could happen, um, the less irritating it is later on because you realize that it's a procedure or a double procedure is uh, necessary to be safe and not to be let down by an audio quality problem. But it, you know, at the same time, with even though we're doing these checks and we you get in this routine and you do them over and over again. It's surprising how many times you miss one little thing that if we hadn't gone through those checks, it might have been an issue. Oh, definitely. You know, the antenna is one. <laughs> one I always tend to forget is to, um, we have an electric water heater. I always forget to turn the switch off. Yeah, me too. Um, so, yeah, without those little checklists and those routines you go through, you could cause some serious damage to your your vehicle or whatever you're doing um, and so it really does pay for itself yeah it was like a sp <laughs> kitty crisis there spot the Scots uh, they mentioned that you know they got in a hurry uh, they felt rushed and they actually scratched their RV on something that probably didn't have to happen and just like I had a sound quality problem on the show I got in a hurry I was anxious I was kind of worried about uh, coordinating all the families together and, and their time limits so I skip some procedures and I get burned. Uh, typically in RVing I've always noticed that 
things like that happen when you get in a hurry don't do your normal little check throughs you skip things and even if it's bad weather don't skip them <laughs> yeah that's when you tend to want to skip them yeah so uh, bad way yeah, bad weather especially if it's pouring and stuff like that that's when you want to skip some of your procedures it's just not worth it so I hope this was a good tip it was a lesson learned for me and Sherry even though we've been doing this for years we still well I it's I take the responsibility I didn't do my one little check that I always do and I skipped it and I paid the consequences so it relays to everything you do in RVing uh, safety and, and procedures and checklists and being over cautious you just can't do that enough so I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Quest and Sherry's with me today and our cat and dog are having a great time out here in the sunshine and I hope everybody's safe I hope this is helpful to you and don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and please share our videos and thanks for following guys bye now